Voice American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Here we are. Here we are. Let me turn on the lights here. There we go. Uh, I know, not a good night for me. Oh, well. Anyway, let's go over and see who we have here uh, waiting for us. Uh, let me see. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me, uh, I've got to figure out what to do here. I, I can't remember what to do because my mind is thinking about other things. Okay. All righty. I think we're ready to go. Let's just, uh, what I'm trying to do is to figure out, wow, I lost that. There we go. We got that. All right. I didn't do that. And now we're going to admit Phil Meyer. Here we go. Phil, there you are. Are you there, Phil? There you go. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just uh, uh, turn do this here for a second. There we go. That's better. Ah. Is yeah. it that time already? Yeah, it's that time already. I don't know how much I'll, if I'm going to be able to do a whole show tonight. Uh, how do you, uh, what's going on? I, I'm just worried about my health. Uh, yeah. <laughs> huh? What happened? Well, no, it, I, I get this thing from my doctor today. Okay, yeah. a, a, a little letter, and he, and he it, it, I can even show you. See, it's just really Did it have short. to do with the lungs? No, no, no. no. Looks like a bill. Huh? No, he, he's, like <laughs> he says, now I saw him a couple of weeks ago, right? And yeah, I told him about yeah. the, you know, the, the lymph nodes and so on that they thought were, were enlarged. And then he felt yeah. my neck and he said, no, oh, there's nothing enlarged there. They feel fine. Well, then he writes me today. He says, it is our policy to follow up with our patients. How are you doing? Well, maybe maybe it wasn't the lymph nodes that were enlarged. It was well, your ego. Hold on a second. Then he says, please do a sonogram of the lymph nodes. All if you right. have any problems, do not hesitate to call me. And then he has this prescription for me to take, and I don't even know where to go to do it. Uh, well, I would uh, call him and yeah, ask him. Yeah, I'm going to call him. But then I started looking up my uh, stuff. It said I had rounded, uh, they found rounded uh, lymph nodes. And rounded lymph nodes... About 50% of the time are malignant. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if the, for my prostate thing, uh, I got uh, uh, cancer in the lymph nodes. Well, they can remove lymph nodes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if, uh, if it hasn't metastasized, yeah. they, they remove them. So they say 49% of the time they, they're metastasized, the rounded ones. Well, that means that it's on your side for 51 percent you know the, i wasn't going to bring this up as the first topic it was actually going to be one of the last but i had a terrible dream last night and i think it was because i was listening to a youtube thing about your will and making it easier on uh, on people after you pass and what to do about all of your uh passwords and and things like that so things aren't difficult for the people that survive you and you know who's going to get what and so I, it must have been playing in the background, and then I, I, I was like paralyzed, and I, and I just kept saying in the dream, I'm not a donor, I'm not a donor. And uh, that, I woke up, <laughs> but you know, that's, yeah. that was a terrible dream, uh, but, but it but made let me, me ask you, didn't they tell you about the PSA test that the reason, if, you're, if you have a low PSA, then that doesn't mean it's spread anywhere else? No, not necessarily. They they can only tell that with a I think a CT scan with a, a, a dye, you know. So they uh, and, and so they stick you in the machine. They push some stuff into your wrist, and uh, they're able to see. No, but didn't they t didn't they weren't they worried that when your PSA went up, not that you had cancer, but that it may have spread? No, uh, they they didn't. Uh, they weren't alarmed like that. It was uh, when my PSA went up, 
I, they knew I had cancer because uh, I, uh, I got the uh, biopsy mm -hmm. and I also had uh, a couple of other things. So the cancer was confirmed. Right. The PSA going up. No, but then afterwards you got a PSA test and it went up. Yes. And what were they worried about there? Uh, they were worried that the cancer uh, might be coming more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it went up to a very high level. Uh, I think it was 17, but it went down after a month of Cipro because it was uh, uh, prostatitis. Yeah. yeah, well, anyway, I think I probably have cancer. Oh, God. Well, you know, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't start worrying until you get some tests done. You know, uh, it, it, there's there's no benefit in in worrying. There's no p upside to, uh, to to be upset about it. Uh, no wonder you weren't uh, really happy that you had a GabNet exclusive. Well, uh, I had a you, gap. How do I have a GabNet exclusive? Well, you interviewed your friend David Patterson, mm -hmm. and uh, a couple of days later, he appeared on Fox News. And he was being interviewed there, you know, about the the uh, the the goings on in in New York and uh, mm -hmm. uh, the crime and and things like that, and whether or not he supported uh, Hochul and so and it was it was timely that you had scooped Fox News. I don't know that I scooped them. Well, you had him yeah. on first, you know. If it well, was, I mean, but he's Carson. Been I'm sure he does. Johnny a lot. Carson, uh, he, he'd have to get him first. KGO, they'd have to get him first. You scooped. It could be. And, could yeah. Be. So you know, you should be proud. That was a GabNet exclusive. Uh, yeah. Just to move on after the accolades, and I'm sorry that you're uh, upset that you have rounded lymph nodes. I, uh, I, you know, I gotta believe that to worry about this kind of stuff before you have any definitive proof is is counterproductive mm -hmm. and uh you know it's it's just you got to have a positive attitude and just like with the prostate cancer you dealt with it it didn't it you know you may not have shown it that it got you down but you you in in uh to the face that you put forward you said this is what i got i will deal with it boom 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 you 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 researched it and you took care of it and i'm sure this is going to be the same thing and it doesn't even if it's malignant it doesn't matter they they can remove them and what, what is what's the prognosis for uh survival after uh, removal i have no idea here I, it, it doesn't uh, doesn't say well uh, that's something that you might want to ask about you know because if it's uh it's if it's contained to the lymph nodes uh, you you can uh, you can deal with that. Yeah, you know, it's just an in, it's another inconvenience in life. Yeah, well, um, you know, um, it's um, you know, I I just uh, I, I'm just bothered by it. You know, I don't blame you. Nobody likes bad news or even the potential for bad news, especially Liz Cheney. But uh, I I wanted to mention something. I had listened to your nice show. And you yeah. guys were talking about Anne Hesh. 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 Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't know, it was, they were kind of critical over uh, uh, the, the driving, the, uh, uh, some of the antics and, and the drinking and, and so forth. And I, I wanted to point out that she had uh, mental illness problems. Mm -hmm. Her whole family had mental illness problems. Her brother killed himself in a very similar fashion in a car uh and i'm i'm thinking that uh you know we ought to be looking at mental illness and uh feeling uh, uh, for somebody that was suffering uh even though the end result could have been disastrous for the lady in the house and uh but the 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 thing is you know people some people just are suffering and, uh, you know, I, I just thought that that was the one topic that didn't get covered on your night nice show was, uh, was the fact that uh, she had mental illness. And, uh, you know, there was another 
there was another uh, perspective yeah uh, for, for what happened to her yeah yeah uh let's see um so uh, tell me more uh, about you didn't the doctor talk to you at all or no they just, they just sent me this letter? note you know i mean when i saw him he said well i he felt my lymph nodes he said they feel fine you know yeah uh and uh that was it you know but then i looked at the thing they did on me and it says i had rounded uh lymph nodes so maybe he saw that and that's why he wants this test done now maybe yeah. he just looked at that report more closely um but I don't know, you know, but it's got me all worried and it's hard for me to do a show tonight without constantly looking at stuff on the Internet here. Yeah, well, you know, you know uh, the lymph nodes, maybe he was feeling for uh, it being swollen. And I don't know if uh, what the prognosis is for rounded lymph nodes and how could they tell that? What test did they do on you? They did, that, a, they did a CT scan. Oh, and in the CT scan, um, did they did they see anything? All they saw was that they were rounded, enlarged lymph nodes. Hmm. Well, I um, I think you might have to ask Alan. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I this is above my pay grade. Uh, you know, I I just I just don't know, uh, you know, what what the consequences of that of those things are but i can't imagine i, I know uh my ex-wife had breast cancer mm -hmm. and they also removed lymph nodes just in case uh there was a yeah. possible spread uh, along with a mass double mastectomy and uh the uh she's been cancer free since that was done uh at least seven years now mm-hmm so um, I, I, don't, I don't think it's a death sentence. I just think it's going to be another inconvenience, or at least that's what I hope it, the maximum it would be. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, so, I, you know, I mean, I just, uh, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But I don't, no. know if, I don't know if I can continue doing a show tonight. And yeah. I'm so bothered by this. Well, maybe uh, maybe we should just do some research now and uh, have have others join in so you can at least express yourself. Well, you know, uh, I, I, I put in enlarged lymph nodes and it keeps coming up swollen lymph nodes. Right. And he and the doctor said he didn't feel that it's swollen. He says, right. That, right. That, right. No, okay. but 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 but, uh, but these put in are rounded in lymph nodes rounded lymph nodes they're oval and they're rounded and they say the rounded ones have a 50 percent chance approximately of being malignant okay and what is the treatment i have no idea that's the next question well you know um that that's interesting you know but i don't know do you think that the that the prostate cancer caused the lymph nodes uh, no, nowhere near one another. If the lymph nodes in your neck, or uh, where, where, where are they located? Because you have lymph nodes in a lot of places. They, they look like grapes, right? Right. I guess. I don't know. You know. I don't, but you know. lymph nodes are rounded. They look. I thought they look like grapes. Hmm. I, I thought they look like grapes. I guess so. I don't know. I, I know so little about. Them. You know? Yeah. Well, you can't fear what you don't know. Well, you can. That's why people have fear, because they don't know. Uh, so the, the way to overcome fear is to find out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, somebody who's a doctor can, uh, can call the show. Yeah. Uh, well. Or, you know, who might know about this kind of stuff is Jeff. Yeah. 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 Um, well. Well you, well, you see, I, I, the lymph nodes around my, around my uh, prostate, are yeah. don't have it. So you right. know, I have no idea what the story is. You know. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know if uh, the treatment that you received uh, could have an effect on a lymph on lymph nodes in other areas of the uh, 
of the body. You you got your treatment early. It didn't seem to metastasize. Do you are you getting uh, low to no PSA? Uh, low to no PSA. I have no PSA. Right. Neither do I. Yeah. Or I'm not supposed to. Yeah. So have you had a PSA test done uh, recently? Yeah, about three months ago, two months ago. Yeah. And uh, it was uh, no detectable cancer. Right. No detectable PSA. Yeah, no detectable PSA, yeah. which is sometimes, uh, uh, you know, because I had, I had a little detectable PSA a year and a half after they removed my uh, prostate. Yeah. And that, I went for seven weeks of radiation. Mm -hmm. And uh, that might be the, if you do have something going on in the lymph nodes, that may be how they treat it. Well, was the radiation on your prostate? It was yeah. on my prostate area. They, they couldn't focus on the prostate because I didn't have one at that point. So what they did was they, uh, they had a, uh, some sort of beamed uh, machine that uh, you lay on a table and it, and it moves around and it moves you around. And uh, uh, they, they irradiated radiated the, uh, the area where the prostate was. And that's how they took care of the second course. But uh, I would imagine with these very directed machines, they can, they can focus on mm -hmm. the, the cancer cells and it doesn't go beyond uh, the, the cancer cells. So it doesn't do the damage that years ago radiation would do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, let's see. Our, um, our, oh, I mean, no, that's not what I asked. Round yeah, every time I ask uh, I, uh, Google or something, uh, something about uh, prostate cancer or diabetes, I immediately get an ad to buy something. <laughs> you yeah. know, <it's, laughs> you press on something, oh, the seven signs of the such and such, and then, boom, it takes you right to a thing that wants to sell you something. Yeah. So, so can a normal lymph node be round? And then it says, although the round shape helps to identify a metastatic lymph node, it should not be used as the sole criterion. Yeah. Okay. Um, are cancerous lymph nodes round? Uh, they tend to be round, uh, but uh, whereas reactive nodes are usually elliptical in shape. Yeah. Okay. Cancerous lymph nodes often are round or oval. Malignant lymph nodes are commonly round, while benign nodes have an elliptical shape. So I might have cancer. Yeah. Um, what What is the uh, What do they say the prognosis for uh, uh, cancer in the lymph node is? It doesn't say. Hmm. What size lymph node is concerning? Can lymph nodes be oval? Uh, what does an abnormal lymph node look like on ultrasound? Uh, Include, uh, include shape round. See, round is not good. Yeah. How, uh, can you ask, how is cancer of the lymph node mm. treated? Mm. Uh, let's see. Cancer of lymph node. Of yeah, I only have one computer here, so I, I can't uh, mm. necessarily successfully search. Uh, pH nodes lymph nodes treated yeah uh, let's see here cancer of lymph nodes treatment it's uh, probably it'll be like uh, uh, is cancer of the lymph nodes uh, uh, curable uh, there are various treatments a person can have to treat cancer that is spread to the lymph nodes. One option is surgery to remove the person's primary cancer and affected lymph nodes. However, lymph node involvement can mean a person's cancer is more likely to return after surgery. So surgery might not be the best. How long can you live when cancer spreads to the lymph nodes? Um, a patient with widespread metastasis in their life Oh, life expectancy of less than six weeks. <laughs> no. Yeah. Really? A patient with metastases to the brain has a more 
variable life expectancy, one to 16 months. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Widespread metastases. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Well, you may have found this early and, uh, you know, possibly the food poisoning uh, could have saved your life. Yeah, well, I, who knows, who knows. It's usually a bad sign that the cancer has or seems to, uh, forget it. I read this, it's going to drive me crazy. Yeah. You know. When did you get this letter? To this afternoon? Today, today. Today. You know, why, why didn't he tell me at the time? You well, know, that he didn't know. Didn't they have to send off something? Or No, uh, no. He didn't have to send anything off. I went, had a discussion with him. I showed yeah. him my uh, my thing, yeah. uh, you know, um, and he uh, he looked at it and he felt my under here and he said, I don't feel any enlarged lymph glands there. So, you know, and then yeah. I get this like three, four weeks later. Why? And did he suddenly see I had rounded and he said, I better go, go have him have a uh, sonogram. Well, it's not a bad idea. Um, so, did they did they just prescribe the sonogram, or they did they prescribe actual meds? No sonogram. Okay, and so you just don't know where to go to to get it. I don't know where to get it, and I don't know why he wants to do it. Yeah, but I'm reading here all these various things, you know. Hmm. So I don't know. Well, I. You know, if you want my two cents, mm -hmm. which you usually don't, but uh, I I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't get upset uh, and allow it to take over uh, my attitude until I know one way or another. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying to put your head in a in a hole uh, and, like an ostrich, but uh, you you really can't. Uh, you really can't make yourself crazy until you know one way or another what's going on. It's just yeah. a good thing that he made you aware of this now, and you can uh, do some more investigation. Well, let's bring in two people here who might be able to help the discussion. Uh, All right. We got, uh, got uh, what do you got, Dr. Allen? Allen and, uh, and, and Dr. Wallace. And Dr. Wallace, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you just got over COVID, right? Yes. Yeah. Alex. Yeah. Okay. So most people with COVID or any type of viral infection, their lymph nodes swell, and a lot of times it takes months for the swelling to go down. Well, no, no, no. To begin with, we're not talking about. We're talking about enlarged. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Swollen, enlarged. Call it what you want. Is swollen and large the same thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, if well, it's well, well, you have you have any other this, symptoms right now? Do this, you have te this test that I took, I took before I had COVID. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that you, well, you, wait you were a sick. You got COVID at the hospital, uh, uh, right Mar after Marjorie the Marjorie got it about a week right. week afterwards. Yeah. Oh, and but, uh, oh, and whatever you, in, whatever you were sick from took you to the hospital. It's not uncommon to have swollen lip nodes. Yes, so, but they were you, rounded you have, lymph you have nodes. A fever. They were rounded lymph nodes as opposed to cervical lymph I, nodes. I understand that. Or do you have a fever? Do you feel ill right now? No. Chances are you don't have cancer of the lymph nodes. Well, I am lightheaded all the time, but that could be my. Well, I am nodes. too, and I'm 20 years younger than you. So what? Yeah, you, you said that that might have been due to the vertigo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Oh, Do Dr. Stein is joining us. Yeah, but he's not there. He's just yeah, he, and he, you he's know, in the reference kind of, library. I find it strange that your doctor said there wasn't a problem and then four weeks later sends you this letter. So Maybe your doctor's a, confusing patients. Alan, he said he didn't feel a problem. But, you know, that's like saying, okay, I, I don't feel a swollen prostate. Let's go ahead and do a, an exam. But that's right at the same time, or very close. It's not four weeks later. Mm, yeah. It was my thought. I, I have a feeling that he's rather made a mistake, or he likes scaring you. No, no but right also, now. I mean, also, I looked on there, and it said I do. Ha they found rounded lymph nodes. So? 
which 50% of had, the time are malignant. My mother had rounded lymph nodes, uh, 80% rounded in her body. They did a, a scan. Are you and sure they was, were called rounded lymph nodes? Absolutely. That's the only time I've ever heard of them. Really? So, and over yeah. 80% of her body? 80% of her body, yeah, and they said she had some kind of viral infection. There was no cancer. They mm -hmm. did a PET scan and everything and nothing, so. Yeah, but they were wow. they were worried because they were rounded that they might be cancerous. Get the yeah, sonogram. But, That'll answer the question. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know, but I'm just worried about it. You're okay. gonna, what they'll do is they'll probably do the scan, and if they look abnormal, then they'll want to do a biopsy. And, uh, you know, if but, there's a few but, cancer cells in there, they'll treat them, right? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't I don't think you have anything to worry about. Because I think he would have did it right away, Alex. Why wait three weeks? I agree with Tony. I'm being honest. And well, you maybe, did have Maybe because he never sat there and read the complete report. Yeah. I think he's just covering his ass. You're right. Yeah. He saw something later and then said, oh, oh, I better be careful about this. And yeah. Could be. Could Precautionary. Be. I mean, you know what I would do, Alex? Can you call his office tomorrow and go over with him and say, hey, listen. Yeah, I'm going to call him and say, I have to talk to him. Yeah. yeah. I noticed with doctors, like with my urologist, he was all panicky at first. Then after my biopsy he came and he was satisfied, even though I have low grade. He's like, oh, I'm waiting to do the other blood work coming in. Don't worry, you're not going to. It's like they panic. It's like they're always covering themselves, like, all the time. Mm -hmm. So like with you, and also you also went after your cancer. Didn't they do a whole body scan like my mom had done in Sloan? Like didn't they scan you after you were done? Yeah. Like a three month yeah. checkup, like my brother does that. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, could be. Oh, could yeah, have been. The cancer, but what was that? Five years ago, ten years ago, you had the uh, uh, prostate cancer. No, no, no. It was, that was like a year ago. Recently, no. oh. after me. Yeah. You went for the check. No, after you're done, don't you go like every three months for like they had a scan you just see like if there's no, anything. No, they do a PSA. Oh, that's all they do for that then for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, Brian, Usually that's isolated just to that region. Right. With, with you, with you, Tony, probably every twelve to eighteen months they'll do a PSA and they'll do a biopsy to see if the cancer. Alex was trying to say something. Alex. Oh, well, I was going to say Brian's got his hand up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wouldn't the doctor call you if there's something serious? <clears throat> well, no. Apparently, he wrote me. Yeah, but yeah. you know, well, was this email or was this what? Letter. What we yeah, a letter. That's the slowest yeah. way of commun form of communication. Email. I need my tooth. Oh man, we just saw Brian without his tooth. I know. Uh oh. You look like my uncle Charlie. <laughs> Golly, uh, we see him without his toes, Brian without his tooth. I think my cat took it. I'm waiting for my blood work. The cat was playing with it last time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, God. The cat was playing with it? Oh, the cat's got a human toe in his mouth? Tooth. 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 Right. Yeah. I don't care. Oh, he's arguing with the cat? He's almost getting his walking papers. Beat up the cat. This guy's brain me out tonight. The neighbors are going to chance. Alex, I would work. get clarification with your doctor verbally. Talk to him. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. you're fine. Well, I mean, I don't know. You know, I mean, when, it, when I just read in my report that was from the hospital that I had, they found around. Hey, honey, don't send it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my life fun. <laughs> uh oh, there might be a divorce by the end of the night, Phil. Send him a lawyer. <laughs> oh, Don't you love married life? Right back, married. Yes, I'm watching the Yankee game. <laughs> the advantages of the internet. Right? Yeah. Love yeah. it, but boy. <laughs> well, <laughs> the you know. case is subject a little bit. Uh, uh, Phil was right. Uh, I, I was reading on Google that Anne Hayes did suffer from mental health problems all, practically her whole life. She was uh, sexually <laughs> abused as a child by her father and she wasn't even jewish yeah. mental health problem sorry hey as as uh caring as that statement was alan you ought to go on the nice show yeah <laughs> did phil say something <laughs> yeah he tried to say something 
Yeah. Well, the one thing I can tell you hmm. is I've noticed that lately these large universities, doctors, hospital combination are getting more difficult to get them to, to talk to you and to uh, make an easy appointment to come in and see them. Jeff, could that be due to the fact that uh, the people are aging and we've got so many more people on Medicare uh, that it's spreading the resources thin? And that's yeah, it's, it's the fact that we keep surviving. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and, and we need lots of work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, you I mean, know, yeah. you think about it that, you know, the baby boomers are, are reaching Medicare age and have reached. And so therefore, there's more of them in the system. They're having uh, they're, they're going for uh, uh, work uh, more often than they would have if prior to having the Medicare. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's uh, causing resources in the hospitals and the teaching hospitals to be thinner than they uh, would have been uh, years ago. Mm. Yes, uh, yes. I think doctors are getting burnt out. Yeah. Busy. This COVID and whatever else is coming along, monkeypox and stuff, I think they're just getting burnt out. And also, yeah, the, 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 the less money they're making now. Absolutely. Medicare is not paying as much, so if you're an older citizen, you have a hard time finding a doctor. Yeah. Because they mm. don't want to take Medicare. That's Which why I like take, Kaiser. If they because, take Medicare, yeah. they have to go along with Medicare's uh, uh, payment. Payment, yeah. You know why, why Kaiser? I, you know, I, Phil, you I know like why Kaiser. Kaiser? Sorry, yeah, I yeah. do too. You yeah, know why Kaiser's so good with people with <laughs> Medicare? Why? No. Because Kaiser is not a for-profit organization. Well, neither, neither were most insurance companies. They, they, no, no, yeah. he's talking about a hospital here. Yeah. Well, a Kaiser is an insurance. It's a plan, uh, but it has a hospital you go to. Right. Yeah. But uh, co companies like, like John Blue Cor I don't know if you're familiar with them that we have out here, they have a similar plan to Kaiser. A lot of doctors don't like Blue Cross because they don't pay much. And so that's kind of similar, but they're a for-profit organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a thought. Yeah. yeah. Your your doctor Alex is private, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's he's associated with Mount Sinai. And mm -hmm. they can feel that. They well, can feel your lip bones. He did that to me, Alex. They can feel that if it's swollen. Sometimes when they're swollen. Sometimes. Yeah, but the, but the CT scan said they saw enlarged, rounded lymph nodes. I wonder. Nodes. Yeah. I mean, and CT scans can see stuff his hands can't. Right. True, but yeah. why would they want you to get an ultrasound if they did a CT scan? Would, would ultrasound is there probably benefit? more definitive. Yeah, it is more definitive than uh, mm -hmm. than uh, than a CT scan is. Yeah. And uh, it, now the CT scan you got was with contrast. Yeah. Okay. And did they see any cancer? No, uh, they didn't see any cancers. But they 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 can't necessarily see cancer in that part of the body. I don't know. You know, I really yeah, I don't know. know. I would think that they would be able, to, if they can see other cancers yeah, with a CT see. scan, yeah. they can see this. In fact, yeah. CT scans are the primary way I think they f look at cancers as opposed yeah. to MRIs and things like that. It depends where cancer or the brain is usually done with an MRI. Yeah, but, you know. Different type of contrast. Yeah. So. I'd relax a little bit, Ooh, Alex. CT scan, they didn't see nothing. Right? No. They did it to my mom, and they didn't see it anyplace else when they were checking. Well, but that isn't definitive either. Your mom died with co from COVID, not right. from... Uh, yeah, I know. She beat cancer and died from COVID. I couldn't yeah. believe that still. What kind of cancer did she have? She had um, uh, colon cancer. She never had the colonoscopy. I couldn't believe it. I yelled at her. Then she finally... You know, she, she was afraid. I always thought she had it. And then Dr. Rubin said, you know, I kept telling her to get it. I said, she lied to me. She never got the kind of colonoscopy. I said, why are you, why didn't you, yeah. what? she was always telling me. Then I was taking it to the doctor mm -hmm. and Dr. Rubin said, I said, Dr. Rubin, did she have col uh, the colonoscopy? No, she was lying to me saying she had it once in her 60s. She never got it. Brian, yeah. Brian, did you have a timeout? <laughs> uh, somebody did. 
Oh. <laughs> your <laughs> wife or your daughter? Uh, two kids. That's oh. okay. we're, we're good now. Now, nobody yeah. stole your tooth, did they? No, I found it. No, oh, you found it. Yeah, I have to put it away because the cat was playing with it one time, and I said I don't want to lose that. I, I have like a month to go, so. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You'll be all right. Yeah. I mean, Mitty Dr. Dr. Allen says so, and he seems like he knows what he's talking about a little bit. Who? So, as I said before, like 10 minutes ago, but Alex, wouldn't your doctor talk, call you if there was something serious? I mean, you're, right? I mean, I hope my doctor well, would I don't, tell me. I don't know that he, 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 it's, there's anything serious yet. I mean, right. but he maybe read the whole complete report that they did at the hospital, and it said rounded, and he may have gone, well, let's go do a, you know. Sure. This. Yeah. You know, either that or it might be something else altogether, and he's just trying to cover his ass. Well, yeah. True. Yeah. Like you said, there's a 51% chance that it's not cancer. You know, and and Alan could be right that it's just a, a reaction to the COVID. No, I didn't. No, yeah, yeah that, you're right. COVID that would Alan not cause rounded uh, lymph nodes. Can yeah. I see if they have? swell? Can they get rounded? I don't. I have no idea. You know? yeah. Are you diabetic, Alex? Too? No. Because no. no. I thought with COVID, they, that plays with your diabetes. I, my my brother-in-law was a uh, diabetic, and his sugar level was going up like crazy from COVID. Is there a That's doctor? Like the Brian? person above you. What? What did you say? <clears throat> That's like the person above oh, you. No, Brian, what did you say? I uh, saying if there's a doctor watching, can you please call the show? Well, we got <laughs> Dr. Or can, Dr. Can somebody Dr. who's Dr. watching the show. Dr. Can you can you call and pretend like you're a doctor and just tell Alex he has nothing to worry uh, about? Alan does. I know. No, ask no. Alan. He'll he'll pretend. No. <laughs> he so between good. Jeff and I, it's all it, it's solvable. An actual doctor probably wouldn't want to come on here and give me medical advice, not knowing me personally. He nope. considered a televisit like they were doing with me. They yeah. charged me 200 bucks for a televisit. Well, that's a little he, different. You know. We'd all ask some questions. Doc, can you see all this going like, I got a ring in my ear. What do you think it is? One person at a time. Charlie's <laughs> well, going to end up. Yes, uh, 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 Charlie. Yeah, you're speaking of COVID and diabetics, that's why I am definitely afraid mm -hmm. of getting COVID, and that's why I'm still wearing my mask when I go outside. And I went shopping today, and there were only two other people in the whole freaking store that had masks on. Keep Everybody else had masks on. Yeah. Charlie, when it. you drive your car, uh, do you have? And you're alone in the car. Do you have your mask on? No. No, but I don't care if I do. It doesn't hurt anybody else. Did you ever see that? I see. Yeah. Yeah, what the, how, Why what is that, that a problem? How does it hurt you? It, only, it you? doesn't hurt me, but it, it, I only see it in, in people in Priuses. You know, so. What Priuses you think? Oh, the electric car phone? Uh, Jeff has a Prius. <laughs> That's pretty funny because my wife has a Prius. <laughs> and hopefully she wears a mask. She, when she, she wears a mask. But on. I will wear a mask in a car when there's somebody else in the car. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you don't know them. Especially you know. Phil. <laughs> He's like typhoid Mary. Alan. You would have wore one with Marjorie. You maybe didn't get COVID. Right. For all I know, they have rounded lymph nodes. Anyway, so I just you know, I, I it's it's hard for me to do a show when I got this kind of thing on my mind, and I just That's how you I know. Did, yeah. I get like, like you. I sounds like Giuliani's me. about ready to get indicted. What's going on? Yeah, it sounds like Giuliani's. Better get his uh, affairs in order. Can so, you see where where where, where uh, Trump can't get a lawyer? Yeah, I saw that. That's oh, funny. I I thought uh, uh, Michael Cohen was uh, on retainer. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> not not to get free. No, but he can't find a lawyer to to uh, to represent him. Right. A good lawyer, decent lawyer, because none of them will do it because he has a reputation for stiffing lawyers. Yeah. I wonder if Dershowitz would do it. He might. He doesn't. He, he doesn't want to get stiffed, and he. No. Like, well, uh, you know, maybe it, he would do it for the ex, uh, for more the exposure. The question is, you you you've got to get yeah, yourself but, a lawyer that knows this business, and I don't think he's that kind of lawyer. Ah. Mm. Dershowitz is a criminal law attorney. He doesn't no, deal. He doesn't deal. He doesn't deal in tax law. He doesn't do legal 
deal in constitutional law. You know, any it of sounds that. like Trump's going down that route. He's going to need a criminal attorney. Yeah, Ryan's got another timeout. <laughs> what, no. What's happening? You just today? swallowed the tooth. No. Uh, right, there's the, something. There's some kind of drama going so on. So there's in, 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 in Georgia. Adrian, <laughs> take over for Brian. Adrian, sit in the seat. Sit in the seat. We need another doctor in the house. What kind Sit of dance is that? What is that called? That's called my daddy has a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, 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 there we okay, go. Now we, now we can get into some decent discussion. Oh, oh, hey. oh she got huh? some of his stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Adrian says you're out of here. <laughs> every, every, hold on a second. Brian, every time I see you lift her, it seems to get a little more difficult. <laughs> hey, yes. Brian. She's falling oh. asleep downstairs and she's so long right now. And to carry her up there is like, if I do that's like an accomplishment up the stairs to put her in the bed. Next so, time you have your house remodeled, get a lock on your office door. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need one of those chairs soon for me going up the stairs. But just put a chair up against the door handle. Yeah. Hey. So anyway. Oh, hmm. oh yeah, Giuliani. <clears throat> so uh, they were they were careful on what terms they used in Georgia. They didn't say he's a person of interest. Oh. They said he's a target. And in yes. legal terms, that means he's. it's time to negotiate a deal or you're going to be indicted. You're very close to being indicted. The word oh. target. A target? Wow. Yep. Mm. Well, hey, I, I, think the reason, I think the reason they told him that, it wasn't <clears throat> because he is close to becoming uh, the target of a of a charge or whatever mm -hmm. but because they wanted him to know that before he went in to t do his testimony today they do because they want to hear from him instead of him pleading the fifth yeah yeah mm. probably will anyway well he pled the fifth all day today that's all he did there you go you know? well i wouldn't do anything else but that either you know no. right let the people prove that he did something wrong yeah. He's got his good reputation to still hold a little bit of it. Yeah, I don't know that he has any reputation left. Okay. Really? Well, yeah. your, your, your friend Tony was telling me how much better New York City was when Giuliani was mayor. That it was safe to ride the subway. Uh, you didn't get mugged walking down the street. Crime was a lot lower. And I said Bloomberg did good, too, for 12 years. I like yeah. Bloomberg. And, uh, you know, what's your point? But Bloomberg might have been even better than Rudy. Well, he was on Paul with Rudy, maybe even better. Because he did it for so long, 12 years. Yeah, but you couldn't have sugary drinks with Bloomberg as mayor. Oh, that's you, right. Yeah, you're, that? I'm trying to figure out your point, Phil. He was good at one time. Yeah. He was very good. And, okay. uh, well, so, it was uh, the big but, problem uh, was New Yorkers gave him a third term, and you never give anybody a that's third right. term. That's he that's, actually gave himself a third term. He or, he, he kissed her. Her. No, he kissed ass to everybody. Uh, absolutely he really did. right, right. But he he got a third term because he he create they created a law allowing him to run for a third term. He didn't do it, right? But, but he, he encouraged other people to do it for him. Yeah. And so he then ran for a third term, and in his third term, he was just, you know, it's kind of like, oh, I can do, this, I can do this job in my sleep, you know. It, it, it's just, it's not yeah, a, that, a good thing to do. Then he was overreaching, and he was trying to, uh, you know, between uh, knocking off the 7-Elevens, no more Slurpees, no more Big Gulp. Uh, <laughs> well, you know something, his heart was in the right place with that, because yeah. those things aren't that good for you. Okay. No, they're terrible for you. So, so his his desire was, I think, a good one. I think he wanted to create a healthier New York. I think the, the health of people is very important today, because if you have a, a lot of people are getting sick because of, of sugary drinks and whatever. 
Yeah. Uh, you 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 you're going to have a problem. You're going to have a problem with the, with oh. the country as a whole. We have obesity, uh, you know, uh, it, and a lot of it's due to fast food, and uh, you know, it's just uh, the health of the nation. We didn't have the things forty and fifty years ago. We didn't have the kinds of uh, diseases that we have today, and most of them are due to diabetes and and, and obesity. Uh, you know, I I fight with that all the time. And uh, we had we had diabetes forty or fifty years ago. We just didn't have treatment for it. Yeah, but uh, diabetes type two diabetes is is caused usually by um, uh, eating habits and uh, okay. uh, things like that. Now type one diabetes, yes, that uh, we type we two diabetes have. is also hereditary, isn't it? But yes, but but it's rampant. And even children today are getting type two diabetes. Brian, has <clears throat> yeah, but Brian, but where does that go back to? That doesn't just go back to fast food, right? Um, you have dollar menus, right? Yeah. Yeah. How much is fruit? Hmm. Well, fruit uh, Expensive. Yeah, I mean, I mean, a, a lot of this has to do with the money, right? I mean, right. there's there's Trader Joe's over here. There's Whole Foods over here. Do you think that's over the East Side San Jose? Not at all. Eastside San Jose, you have more fast food areas. So, you know, it, it, it's this whole money thing. You have a lot of poor people who have diabetes. Yep. You have a lot of poor people eating fried food all the time. And this mm -hmm. is terrible. You know, the, right. Those kind of schools compared to our schools here, and it's a big difference. It's not cheap to eat fast food anymore. No, uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's very cheap. You, you go to Jack in the Box, two, two tacos for 99 cents. They have the dollar menus everywhere, Phil. How do you know that? Does <laughs> it get cute? You know, you because know, I watch Brian commercials. Should... It, no, no, I keep. My, we don't go to McDonald's at all because Brian, Oliver Brian had Phil that. Has, that. It, Brian Phil has every dollar menu to every quick food restaurant in this car. I've, I've been to McDonald's with Phil. <laughs> and what did I get? Coffee. <laughs> we went through drive through. Got wow. Phil's generosity. Got like twenty coffees for everybody in the morning. But but no, it's serious, you know, and, and it's. It's the whole you know, economics of how you know, the poor areas have fast foods, and, and that's why they're gay and obese, and that's why a lot of this is happening. It, yeah. It's it's that a lot of blacks live in those communities, and they have a higher rate of diabetes because of that, because of lack of money or lack of you know uh, access to to good food. Alan, or parents think, have two jobs and they stop at fast food every day because that's right, yeah, they don't have time. I think to it's go bad to choices. Start. I know it was bad choices on my part. Mm -hmm. you know, I, but but Phil, it's not choices. I, there are some very poor areas around here yeah. still, and they don't have choices. So not everybody can afford to live in Walnut Creek. Yeah, I mean, and and this area is probably you know one of the richest areas. So yeah, you know, in oh. the Bay Area is so rich, but you know, <laughs> I know a lot of lot of areas so. Yes, uh, Alan. I'm sorry. I want to. I want to ask Phil a question here. Is the FBI considered a law enforcement agency, Phil? I would assume it is. Okay. So why are the Republicans being coming anti-law enforcement now? They're not anti-law enforcement. They're well, anti-FBI. They're going after the FBI they're, constantly. There are, there are people in the FBI that have an agenda. Uh, in the higher ups, none of the Republicans are saying that the the day to day working guy in the FBI uh, needs to be defunded or needs uh, need, has a problem. They're they're talking about the the ones Marjorie that are Taylor politicized. Said it. Hmm? She said defund the FBI. Yeah. Said uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Green Taylor. Yeah, Green. Hey, your girlfriend, Marjorie Taylor Green. Uh, you you wish she was your girlfriend. No. Yeah. I don't. Oh come on, Phil. Yeah, well, yeah, really. Know, she's, she's he makes a joke, he makes a joke when there's a point. He makes a joke when there's a point that he can't defend. Well, no, I, hey, I have no support for Marjorie Taylor Greene. I don't. I I can't vote for her. I didn't vote for her. Some, but her constituents did, and they like what she has to say. And as far as law enforcement goes, I don't believe in defunding the law enforcement. I believe in training law enforcement. Right. And if the FBI has uh, has gone to the days of J. Edgar Hoover and has gotten out of hand, maybe they need to be looked at. But Phil, I think, that, I think though, I think the 
I think the Democrats made a bad choice, or, or whoever we say, made bad choices in saying defund the police also. Because when I said, when I, when I heard those, I said, no, I would like to go through those people and to make sure that we have good cops. And I know that's very hard to have good cops and bad cops. And I know that's what they're, you know, that's what a lot of people meant. But when they start throwing that defund and then all the Republicans jump on and say, yeah, defund, defund, you're going to take all the money away. There's not going to be police. How can you live without police? You know, and then here they start with the whole defund FBI, but they really mean it. They really mean take the FBI away. Now, Marjorie Taylor Greene might mean that. No, that there are a lot of other leader more than her. Well, she's the leader from you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, they, no, she's not the leader of us guys. Yeah. Uh, Raise the most Mr. money. Well, Mr. Exactly. Trump oh, wants to yeah. release the, uh, his own videotapes and expose a bunch of the FBI agents. Why would, why would he want to do that? Well, may, maybe there are people in the FBI, just like there are people in the police departments that need to be exposed and uh, need to be called on to. That's quite uh, the way to do it. Hmm? That ain't quite the way to do it. Well, because uh, they know you got the nutcases out there coming out of the woods yeah. going after them. Yeah, that's well, that's uh, vigilantism. Like the Indian yeah, sense one thing has nothing to do with the other. If you're afraid of that, then uh, <clears throat> you know, there's, there's no. That's that's it. someone else taking the law into their own hands and yeah, releasing well, people out of them. You see, don't be a victim. Don't don't don't. Uh, er, don't I'm not saying it's right. I'm it's not, not saying that the you to be Democrats were doing during the summers were right either. But what what I'm saying is that you know two wrongs don't make a right. No, and uh, if if Trump is exposing uh, something that is wrong, he hasn't done it yet, but he's talking but, about. Uh, okay, but if he does yeah. expose something that's wrong within the system, what's wrong with that? You know, people day day in and day out. Do you really think he's things. going to Phil? I don't think so. Oh, okay. But, well, then uh, what are you, you know, saying? Every time that he Why are you even mentioning it? Why are you even bringing it up? I didn't bring it up. Uh, your your buddy, Dr. Allen, did. You know, and, and he's trying to take uh, use syllogistic reasoning to say, well, if I, if I don't support to fund the police, but I and FBI are police, then therefore... I think, know, why I think I, a better term would have been to refund the police. In other words, to take uh, away the budgets completely and then reappropriate the money within those budgets and take it away from some things which are doing us no good and applying it to other things which will do good. Well, Charlie has his hand up. But, yes, Charlie. Uh, yeah, I just want to point out that, that when we had those peaceful protesters with their candlelight <laughs> vigils outside of, what's his name? I can't even remember his name for some reason. The, the Supreme Court Justice. Mm. The, the Republicans passed a law like that, or pushed a law like that to give extra protection to. There, there is now, a law. This judge that signed the, the warrant for the raid, not the raid, for the search of Mar-a-Lago. They've got his picture all over the place and they haven't done anything past any laws to protect him. Well, there are the same laws that would protect him that would protect the Supreme Court justices. And uh, and so well, the, the thing that they did to the Supreme Court justices, if you want to protest, go to the Supreme Court, stand in front of the Supreme Court, carry Actually, a gun. they passed the law against that. They won't let them stand and protest in front of the Supreme Court. Yeah, well, who's in control of passing the laws? It's the Democrats. Uh, last time I looked, the House was 50. Uh, the House had five more seats of uh, Democrats, and the uh, Senate had uh, a 51 uh, advantage with uh, Harris. And Two words, Cinema Mansion. Well, Cinema and Mansion, they got Two bought. Is, two is not five. Two is not That's five. That's the Senate. No, he's right oh. about the House. Mm -hmm. I thought the House had 10 more. No, well, ten, it was because there's a five vote, so there's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and the other thing is one of the Republican Congresswomen was killed the other day. Uh, so that, yeah. I wonder what, I wonder what they'll do with her seat. Uh, well, the election's in November, so they're going to. Yeah, do but aren't they going to uh, appoint a temporary person for her seat? What, who's seat? No, they who's don't seat? appoint temporary. They don't appoint. Wait a minute, who's, who's seat? I mean, they don't uh, represent. There was, uh, where, where was the woman from uh, uh, that was in a head-on collision? Oh, Indiana. Yeah. Okay. She was from Indiana, and she, Indiana? Okay. she was killed in a car wreck. They don't. They don't appoint representatives. They can't. They fill have the, to be voted in. 
but uh, they, they, uh, they could sure. have a special election, but maybe that's I do it. that when there's one coming up in, in November anyway. <laughs> Well, because you know why uh, 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 get somebody out of out of office, not impeach? What did they do to Chelsea Bodine? They recalled him, and uh, that was you know just a month or so ago. And they're having another election coming up. So why recall him when you have an election coming up? But they recalled him anyway, uh, and then the mayor was able to uh, appoint another uh, DA. I, I well, that's talking about San Francisco. Yeah, but I thought they fill those seats. Uh, you don't uh, fill Republicans. If you look at the Constitution, nobody has the right to point, to appoint anybody as a representative of the people. Not yeah. even the governor people. of the not state. Not the governor, not the president. The nobody can appoint a, a representative in the House of Representatives. But then they, they don't have elected. any representation. Right. The they don't until time. you have a special election or you have the next election. Hmm. Hmm. But they must be voted in by the people because they represent the people. Yeah. Did you just learn something, Phil? Yeah, but that also means that there's one less vote, one less Republican vote in the right House. Now, well, yeah. yeah, we can. Uh, it does. Well, we just pray for some more car crashes. Yeah, really, with Republicans in them. Well, yeah, I guess uh, you're uh, you're you're about as uh, generous with your uh, emotions as uh, Anne Hesch uh, was Bill. treated on Monday. Hey, 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 Bill, did you donate to Trump last few days? I heard uh, he's breaking records again. No, uh, I donated during the uh, during the election, uh, the 2020 election. I donated during the 2016 election, but. Uh, I'm not sure that I would support Trump in in a well, in the money you'd be sending him now. He'd wind up using for his yeah, own. Yeah, he just put it in his pocket. And yeah, put it, puts it. In Are they pocket. allowed to do that? Yes, he's not sure. running for anything. He's sure. just asking for money to defend money. himself. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, uh, he can do that until he actually declares he's running for office. Yeah, because at the at the moment, uh, I'm leaning towards DeSantis. Uh, that I think Trump did. Uh, a very good was was needed. Why do you by always go for the biggest jerk? <laughs> why why is that, Phil? Why is it you are always He's not a jerk? You are always uh, attaching you. yourself to the. He is a jerk. He acts okay. like a jerk. Okay, Tony, you yeah. you read his bio. What's he about? I was impressed with the bio. I have to say, he did serve. I mean, he has a he has a good record. I mean, a good I record of what, Tony? Well, he he did. What was he, the Marine? I think well, that doesn't make him field. qualified to run for office. No, Give me another no, thing. West Point law degree, right? Did he did he go to law school? Yale. No. He went to Yale Law. I mean, that's pretty yeah, but good. But that still doesn't mean the guy isn't an asshole. He also right. went to West Point. I know, just, just I know a lot of that. lawyers who are assholes. It I know a lot of people trained. who were in the military who are assholes. He's trained to be a leader. He went to West Point. Yeah, and he uh, does have man a, is a leader. Yeah, he does have some good check boxes, I have to say. But there's yeah, one but Phil, one, Phil one check bio. box that he has that makes it all negated. And what, that what is did Hillary asshole. Clinton have? Mm. What did Hillary what did Hillary Clinton have? Yeah, uh, that know. that made her Oh, let's uh, see, let's see, let's see. First of all, she was a first lady, so she knew where the bathroom was. Okay. That that's ah, for that's starters. Important. That's for starters. Secondly, she happened to be a senator from the state of New York. She also yeah, had appointed, appointment, to happened to be an ambassador. Uh, so she had a lot of. Did she go to Yale? Uh, to Yale? State. Uh, law school? I think. She, where did she go? And she happened to speak. I think she was there with Brucey. Yeah, with she went to Yale. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Yale. yeah. And, and she happened to sleep with the president, uh, pre prior president of the United States. Before and after. <laughs> well, I don't know about after. Not after, man. She was too pissed at him. Hey, Tony. Tony, Phil's, re Phil's bio looks pretty good, too. Hey, look at him. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I walked across the Osf Oxford campus. So, no, like Clinton, but when you, I attended yeah. Oxford. Wait, but when you say when you say that you know, what did what did Clinton have as a b background? Mm. She was probably the most qualified person yeah. to run for president in years. I mean, uh, I don't I don't agree with she that. She checked all the boxes. She, they they groomed her for that Senate seat. Uh, who, who was it that retired? And she was basically a shoe in for it. 
they? Uh, do you think that she moved to New York because she baby. wanted to? Still, that happens all, that New happens, York to get that Senate That seat. happens all the time. That has yeah. happened over and over again in New York. Yep. This, Trump this was the Democratic Trump cabal because you don't have to be a you don't have to be a New York resident in order to run for the Senate. And so so let let's back up. Bill, think about religion. this for a minute. Bill Trump was a lifelong Democrat, yeah. but he moved to the Republican side to become to try and become president. Well, because he had seen what the Democrats were doing, you saw what he thought of Obama, and also. Uh, Trump was the right person at the right time in 2016, oh, yeah. and he set us in a in a very positive direction financially and uh, and and uh, in in the world's position. We weren't we didn't have a war. Uh, we uh, we didn't have a lot of the problems that we have today. And since Trump, uh, you know, we've uh, we have uh, inflation. We have high gas prices, high food prices. Uh, we have a lot. Why of don't you? Why don't you find something that's the president's fault instead yeah. of <laughs> everything? High gas prices around the world. They're high pr Truman. food prices around the world. Truman said the buck stops here, mm -hmm. and and it and it stops with your buddy that. Biden. Yeah, you know? that's for sure. Somebody should have told Trump that. Yeah. yeah. Well, Trump. Uh, gave us uh, low inflation and and uh, oh, people to Trump work. Gave us COVID. I got it. I got it. The, price uh, of the gas Chinese gave us COVID. Oh, I, gotta, I, I got. I got to say something, uh, um, Phil. Uh, Trump, with all his crazy policies and things that he tried to do, he ended up. He what? He had to bail out the farmers for two point five like 2.5 billion dollars he had to pay off all the farmers because they would go out of business because of that crazy trade deal with uh, uh, trade war with China and yeah. okay that huge tax cut ended up being one of the one of the major reasons why we probably have such bad inflation now I don't that, think that, so that was that huge corporate um, are, it's basically corporate socialist that's what are Trump, you uh, listen Trump John are you, are you happy John, are you happy with China dumping uh, product in the United States and putting U.S. firms out of business? No. What That's I, why no. Trump... Let me explain something to you, Phil. Can I explain sure. something? Sure. For a second. Okay. If China, okay, if China can build something much cheaper than we can, doesn't it make sense to let them do it? Okay. No. Okay. I'll, yes, it does. Okay. There, you, there's something... You're gonna, okay. You're going you're gonna to pay... Uh, you, 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 you're going to ruin the economy by spending, you know, you know, building steel plants that cost, you know, five times what China can build it for. So it makes sense. And then we develop you know, with our with, with our free resources that we're not wasting on overpaying for things in China. That's it's not a matter of overpaying. Have yeah. you ever heard of something called the Triangle of Trade? Do you know what that is? That, no, that's not what we're talking about. Now listen that's, to me. It's the basis. It's it. the basis for economy. The, now the triangle of trade is you have yes. people that make the product, yeah. you have people that buy the product, right. and uh, and you have people that sell the product. Right. So when you have that triangle and it's all in the United States, you're putting people to work. Those people that are working are consuming. And uh, you you have no, that triangle it, continue to function just no, like a local engine. Now, you'll bankrupt you'll bankrupt the other your, the country because other countries are undercutting you and you're not you're, if you not if yeah, you put a tariff. If, if a if a country tariffs don't work, tariffs are, oh, are they, you know, they ruin the economy. No, not necessarily. If you put the tariff up. on there. What was happening was China was subsidizing the companies in China to sell and dump product cheaper here to try to ruin our market no, that's that's not that yeah that's that's what they're doing sure okay but that's that's that you know there's no you know what trump was trying to do would would, would just ruin the economy no what trump was trying to do was to stop that now yeah, but, he, but he, he wanted to stop them from stealing our uh our not secrets but our uh, 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 uh intellectual intellectual property uh but it doesn't work that yeah it, it does if, if you don't all allow them to sell. Would, oh. look, all presidents do that. But Jeff Trump Trump was up. ignorant. Phil, Trump. Phil, you're assuming, among other things, that Trump knew and was a good businessman. 
That's right. And the fact is, the fact is, wait a minute, let's forget about his record as president. Let's look at his record as a businessman. Horrid. Horrid. It doesn't matter. It does matter because when you're running a country and then you're say, having to make decisions about its finances, it is important. Well, our finances were in a lot better shape under Trump than they are now. No, they were. No, they were. No, they were. No, they were. Hey, what about that jobs report? We've created more jobs than Trump yeah. ever did. Because you've had all of these people that have gone, uh, that were out of the uh, economy, that weren't working, that were co collecting welfare. Because of Trump. Not under Trump. Trump had low unemployment because people were employed. It was the lowest black, the lowest Hispanic. Uh, Lowest you know, unemployment, uh, Phil. There was higher unemployment under Trump. We had up to twenty percent unemployment during COVID. What are you talking about? That twenty percent during COVID. The economy was shut down. Every store was shut. Nevertheless, Phil, you're saying you're saying that you, under Trump. You, you're saying yeah, that hey, under Trump. Well, let, me, sir, let me finish, Phil. Little, shut up. Okay. Shut up. You're saying that under Trump, the economy, the the the, the uh, uh, jobs were better. Okay, yeah. and he just said that under Trump they were lower, and you said, "Well, that was because of COVID." Well, let, let's <laughs> face it: if he was a good president, he would have done something about keeping the jobs going. Well, he did. He had a stimulus package called PPP, oh, God. and, and uh, that was to pay your employees mm -hmm. while we were shut down under COVID. Mm -hmm. And how that much of that PPE Trump money do you still have, Phil? I spent it all. You spent it all? Yeah. He, had to, he had to buy new ammo and new guns. <laughs> Did you spend it all on new on, on keeping your people hired? Yes. And most of it, yes. Mo most, <laughs> mo most of it. I, I just heard most of it. You were supposed well, to spend I had other, I had other expenses. To, you were supposed to spend no, all of it on that. No, I, there was a certain percentage I could spend on utilities, rent. Mm -hmm. and 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 so forth it was a percentage of of uh of certain utilities certain rent and and uh employee compensation so it wasn't all for employee compensation and i used it for the the items that it was meant to be used for uh, and i can thank donald trump for coming to the aid of small business when it uh when there was a pandemic and we had to shut down and uh, and he stepped up to the plate and took care of it. Now, if there was higher unemployment during COVID, that's what happens when you shut the world down. You know, um, I, if I recall, uh, the it was the Republicans were against that. Yeah, it, it, it took the Democrats to get that passed. I think the Republicans and, and, were and, in and, control. And in fact, in fact, Trump was arguing against it the whole time. Yes. I don't think so. Yes, I think uh, so, bud. Yeah, well, yeah, Google you know, it. Yes, he was. Okay, he let was me bring up another. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. Let me, let me bring up another topic here. Uh, Liz Cheney. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Trump's happy. Yeah, he he may, I don't think he should be that happy. Yeah. yeah. Fine. To begin uh, with, she's still got another, what, six months, months before left. she has to leave office? Yeah. A lot of stuff she can do during that time. Hold on a second. Loser. Yeah, hold on a second. Not a loser. I think she's going into not being a congressperson, which is only a two-year deal anyway, and it doesn't pay as much as Senator does. You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. The point I'm making is she is now a bigger danger to Trump because she isn't in office than yeah. she was while she was in office because now she has the ability to run for president opposite what him. Let me finish. Running? Let me finish. Right. It has nothing to do with the state she's in. She can run for president, and nobody in Wyoming has to vote for her, and she could still right. win. And nobody, nobody's going to vote for her. She is the she is the uh, Harris. She is the Harris of politicians. If she goes for she president, she is something you're not, half Phil. A she's something you're not. Yeah. She won't get a half a she's percent. She's something you're not, oh. Phil. Well, that, that, well, how come ninety-two well, percent? She's something. 92. She's something you're not. What do you think that what? is? A natural no. blonde? No. <laughs> no. What? Uh, she's a true conservative. 
No, she's not. Yes, she is. Absolutely, Phil. Well, then she, you, because yes. you don't know what a conservative is. Because if you voted for Trump, you weren't voting for oh. a conservative. You were no. you were voting for a self-serving prick. No, I was voting against the swamp. <laughs> yeah, and you know what you got? You got I, I got you somebody got the abyss. Now. You got the abyss. <laughs> no, I I got somebody that flushed out these these uh, losers that we have in Congress. And in the Senate. Oh yeah, they're all flushed out, aren't they? No. Wait a minute, you're talking yeah, about the you know, FBI. We, we, we've seen what they've all uh, what they're all about. They're there to help themselves. Well, how about they, Trump? How about Trump? Trump, Trump lost well, a lot by being president. He didn't lose didn't. anything, Phil. He if was broke. He was president. broke, Phil. He well, was on his last leg. I don't think so. He has a yeah. lot of assets, and he could yeah. have sold. He has all he his golf courses. He could have sold them. How, we don't those know how. Golf courses. How come, how come he's that, having right? to fly in a small jet instead of his 757 yeah, now? He's so rich. Because he's uh, into the green economy. <laughs> yeah. Special <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, prosecutor Liz Tr Cheney. Oh boy! Uh, it took uh, your mind <laughs> off of the off of the lymph nodes. Yeah. Uh, Bill, please, are, are please you, your, your 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 little son here had something he wanted to say. Yes, Tony. Uh, me and my brother went shopping out in Long Island to a Costco, and he made like I don't know how he we kind of got a little lost, but there was like a private air. Like there was a small airport there, and we saw one of the Trump planes. You, when we drove, you couldn't get in, but you saw. So he must land down Long Island there because it said. No, Trump. no, no. That 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 plane has been sitting there the whole time he was president. It it says Trump on the side of it, right? It's a big. Yeah, because it's wow, there's a Trump. And they're plane. using it. They're they're using it for parts wow. right now. Google it. Is that one of the wow. old Trump airplanes from? Yeah, the, from the, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. From the yeah, uh, from, probably is from Trump Airlines. Which yeah, failed. Probably. So yeah. that, probably. that's a probably failed plane, Tony. Oh, is it? Yeah. Like, that means they it use it. They use it for the university. Yeah. That's where they, they ship the stakes in that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I haven't seen John laugh like that in a while. <laughs> You're gonna have to move this to Trump's prison. That he's going to. Yeah. Yeah, Phil. That's right. What about that bet we made? Remember last year? No. Tell refresh my memory. Uh, yeah, I said he'd go to jail, and you said no, and I said a hundred bucks. You said okay. Oh, okay, I'm in. I'm well, in. He all right. Go to jail. Okay. We all, everybody heard it. He'll, yeah. he'll get. He'll, he'll, who cares? So Fight he'll it get, down. He'll uh -huh. get. He'll get his second term in prison. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if he had a serving right. <laughs> Uh, I don't think he's going to be nominated, to be honest with you. I think I think what he's hit is he's hit the wall when it's come to he's become baggage. And I think even the Republicans realize this and they really are. are it, it, it's losing its uh, its allure, you know. It's uh, damage goods. Da damage goods. Yeah. I mean, it every day. Damage. Well, you don't. You, what it is is you don't want a candidate who every day when you wake up, there's more drama. You yeah, know, right. and I think we've just had even the Republicans have had a little too much of Trump's drama. You know, mm -hmm. Bill might be on to some. It could be DeSantis. Bill. Well, I think it will be, but I don't think DeSantis is going to win. Why, why would you want DeSantis? I mean, do you do you want a book burning president? A guy that He's wants not to a book burning president? He is. He's he is. He's banning books, He's banning fucking... books in Florida. Yeah, did you, you see the shit yeah, that he, that he's trying to teach, make the teachers. Uh, teach the kids and stuff now I, I saw the shit that he's trying to make them not teach them like gender choice between kindergarten and third grade that's bullshit that nobody, is bullshit because no, that's bullshit that's what, nobody that's ever Phil, 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 that, that, that was that was disproved as a lie a long time ago uh, I don't believe that oh you don't uh, believe it because you believe you, you, Phil you live that's your life Disney you thing. live your life to 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 uh, believe in lies you well, know, I mean, you oh, believed no. in the Trump lie. Now you're believing the DeSantis lie. And but, I don't know if there's a lie out there. You'll believe in it. Yeah, it's because you, have, you have been brainwashed by the left. Phil, you know, I thought you were smarter you're in than the cult. Must be the Please. cancer. Get get, no, get professional know. help, Phil. You really <laughs> are. In a cult. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
that, I, I think you're out of line, John. I think because he has a different opinion that, that and his opinion doesn't fit with anybody else's here. But no. I think that saying get get help, I mean that's that's kind of that's wrong. what Phil says to us. What are you talking he's, about? Yeah, he I've never said that. To us. He I've, ne I've never heard him say that. I've he's never said that. Program. No. You can go to like a deprogram or a cult. Or that we're program. wrong. Yeah. That our opinion is wrong. He's never it's said Tony. that. Tony, I, I've never heard yeah. him say it, Brian. No, he's never yeah. said go get help. No, yeah. no. Tony, no, what did I tell you help. today? If people attack you, what did I tell you to do? I'm just not attacking you. I, no, 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 Tony. Like Tony what yeah. did roll I tell you to do? Back. Roll what? off. Roll off. Uh, roll off your back. Yeah, but some of the things Phil does say to stick up for him. I'm not just saying it. He does have some good points. I have to say that. Who? I don't agree with everything you say, Phil. Remember, we do disagree. I think. Well, all right, uh, tell us a good point. Yeah, prove that. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have to think of it now. See, it yeah, should I mean, have been right. Just should have come right off the top of your head. <laughs> I think no. Actually, he gave me a book to read on selling, and I think he does have a good working knowledge of, of like a business acumen. Like you know, he's good at seeing things. I mean. Am I making any sense? No, you're not no. making any Nobody sense because. It, it, no, even he's disagreeing with you, Tony. No. <laughs> Tony, yeah, I, I have an opinion, and I respect the opinions that yeah, other I mean, people I'm, have. Right? No, you don't, you don't Phil. Phil. You Absolutely, do not. Well, and quite frankly, it, it's, it's only. Quite you quite think frankly, it's can, not, I, can I be honest about this, Phil? Yeah. I don't respect your opinion. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't respect it hey, in have, the least. I, it, uh, John, do you Alan? respect his opinion? It doesn't matter. Uh, Kevin, I do you respect his opinion? Uh, uh, Brian, do you respect I, I, I his opinion? Yeah. Jeff, well, Charlie, well, but Alex, is, I, I have, have no control. And you bought lunch for Alan, and he still doesn't respect your opinion. Look, I have no control over anyone else's opinion except my own. And so I don't disrespect other people's opinion, but I also voice my opinion. I'm not afraid to meet. Uh, opposition and have people tell me they think I'm wrong. Well, that's oh. okay. You can think to, I'm wrong. You have to but say if you're not we, willing to listen and have a dialogue with people that have a different view of uh, of, of what is right and wrong, then right. uh, yeah. you know. Then I think you're being one John, John. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, but not except to the their, Republican. No, everybody's entitled to their opinions, but not to their not to their facts. All right, you you know facts are facts, and, and if that works both ways. And if you're like Trump, spouting bullshit, then you're going to get called on it. Trump had a purpose in 2016. He needed to rock the boat, and that's what he no, did. No, he needed to make money, and he actually yeah. ran initially hoping that he would lose the nomination yeah. and then be able mm -hmm. to keep all the money he had acquired from running. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, I I'm believe, telling you this right now. I believe now. you have a point. Mm -hmm. I believe you have a point to that because I don't think he ever expected to win. And I think what he was trying yes, to do he was expected build... to use that money. He expected nah. to use that money to in, take care of himself and take care of his problems. Once he became president, the advantage there was it kind of made him immune from prosecution yeah. for all well, the believe... ills of the things that he did. Listen to me, Phil, that he yeah. did in New York State, which are now coming back to haunt him since he no longer has that protection. Well, nothing's forever, but the, the thing is, uh, I believe in the, initially he wanted to build he his brand. He didn't want to do anything other than ingratiate himself to the American public so That's he a, could rob them blind. I understand that might have been his, uh, part of, partially his intention mm -hmm. initially, but it, once... Once he won the presidency, I believe he really stepped up. Oh, he really plate. worked at that did, job. Yeah, he the did what was best for the country. He really he worked at that abused job. Also, abused and disrespected the office. And, you and think he, he disrespected the oh, office? Absolutely. He <laughs> absolutely. He disrespected further Putin's agenda. Uh, that, that's that's left wing bullshit. John. No, it's yeah, that's the truth. That's, that's back. Fact. Fact. All I know is that Putin. There are facts Putin, to back it up. Putin didn't feel threatened to where he had to invade Ukraine and decimate that country the way he does today under uh, Biden. No, no. Why? He, because he, he gave him a soccer always, ball. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, he, he had a roll of paper uh, towel. Ukraine. He had Yukovanovich in there, his puppet. Oh. No, he. Is, uh, uh, whatever. Yeah. Zelensky was in there, and that, uh, that and, was and 2016. 
and he did not and and he didn't and that's why he didn't want to give ukraine money right away because there was so much corruption but he also didn't oh here comes hunter I can hear it he, he did, he didn't here allow, comes hunter biden yeah he yeah. didn't allow um uh, uh by the way nobody phil never, phil never got the memo that nobody in america cares about hunter biden, about hunter biden. About yeah. who? Hunter Biden. Oh, Hunter Biden. Right. Who? Yeah, we'll we'll see. And uh, once the House turns um, a Republican and they start having inquiries into Hunter Biden and Joe Biden's uh, exploits. Are you talking about twenty the twenty thirty election? I think you'll be right. Yeah. Remember, every Sunday news on the Post. Every Sunday, there's always an article on Biden when I'm drinking my coffee in the bakery. Yeah, yeah. But that's the president. That's Tony. the only right. newspaper in America that's covering Hunter Biden. It's like they're yeah. going to- <laughs> the Times apologized for uh, saying that the uh, laptop was Russian disinformation when it turns <laughs> out that it was all true. Who's no, Mr. Does everybody see Tony's name on 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 what it says? That's cute. I don't know if Alex, know if Alex did that or or what. What? <laughs> Look at what Tony asked for his name. Mini Phil Jr. <laughs> I thought you did it, Alex. No, I no, did. no he, he did it. He's I had it on there from the it. beginning. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. John Larkin's going to do the same thing next week. What? The Phil, Phil, like Mini like, Phil. Phil, like two we weeks ago. Team. What's two over, weeks? Over two weeks ago, I gave you a challenge, Phil. I what told was that? you to, to, to let us tell us something that Herschel Walker has said that you believe. Well, I believe that he, his platform is to tell uh, us something. The Trump agenda. Something that he said. This wait, 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 I believe I, what I he will said. give you another week. Okay, I'll give you no, 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 week. I don't need another week. But it's not he an said, agenda. I'm saying, say, 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 tell us something. He doesn't he have said. an agenda because he represents he represents the people of he, Georgia. He represents and sh- agenda, sheer stupidity. That man hasn't got a brain in his goddamn Bill, head. Bill, his, Bill, his agenda is to represent the people that elected him. I don't care agenda. I, I'm is saying that many of them. Let us tell us something that he has said. The quotes that you believe. So next time, can you? Can he you doesn't like need, him? He has not made specific quotes that oh, he is going to what are you talking about what he, he has said what yeah. he has said is that he's going to represent the people of Georgia uh and he's and going to wait, 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 hold on a second yeah, wait, and the air from wait, hold, hold on a second and it's coming back over. hold on a second he said is that one of the things he says he's going to represent the people of Georgia didn't he look up the job description well, he is supposed to represent the people of Georgia. That's right, and that's his agenda. It's about time oh, oh, because, we had somebody because we he, had somebody that was not necessarily a uh, echo chamber for Biden and and uh, what's her name uh, Nancy that Pelosi. Be an echo chamber out of here. And, and, you know, for Nancy Pelosi and represented the yeah, people wrap it up. Where's the to music? Washington. Put the music on. Well, let me see here. I can start it early. Yeah. <laughs> Where, well, oh, wait a minute. Before you do, uh, we got to have a uh, report. Is uh, uh, Irv back? Uh, no, Irv's no. still in the in the nursing home or whatever. Is that a 5150 commitment? What? Was that a 5150 commitment? No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> all right. But anyway, he is getting better, however. So. Good. That's anyway, good. listen, I got to go. That's it. Thank you, Phil. I hope Thank you, you feel better and you know. get the information you need to. I'm a dead man. Uh, I'm a dead man. Anyway. Uh, dead man and, talking. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks, Alan. And thanks to our good friend, Charlie Wallace, for joining us. Jeff Stein, Minnie Thank Phil Jr., Brian Neary, and John Larkin. Every one of you, why don't you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, Okay. There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, We'll do it again tomorrow night if I'm still alive. Anyway, we'll see you then. Uh, No Jack next, but uh, we'll have one of his old programs running here. So enjoy it. I'll see you again, uh, let's see here, uh, tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody.